Okay, so today I'm going to be talking to y'all about how to ship for cheap on eBay. Um, so say you want to ship something like this watch. If it weighs under 13 ounces, you're want to go you're going to want to go with first class because that's the cheapest shipping option available and you can probably ship that watch for 45 cent to a dollar so that's really really cheap um, if you're gonna ship something bigger say like this little remote control this is just laying around you wouldn't really be shipping something like this um, but if you want to ship something like that and it weighs more than 13 ounces um, then you're gonna want to go with uh, envelope which is gonna run you about three dollars or you're going to want to get a small flat rate box and you can fit anything in here that is up to four pounds and uh, you can ship it for about five dollars and fifteen cents I think it is anything that will fit in this box that is under four pounds and it says right there about the custom forms you can get these boxes on free get these boxes for free at uh, the you sps.com uh, they have small boxes like this big boxes that you could fit like uh, something big in maybe like a little fold up propane grill or something um, they sell them they give you free envelopes free stickers and uh, stuff like that and they have fragile stickers but I think those do cost so if you're going to be shipping on eBay, definitely go to USPS.com and get the free boxes any size that you want. Uh, get them for free. Also, you're going to want to get a scale because if you do ship something on eBay and you put it on there as well in a pound and it really weighs two, then they're going to send it right back to you and that's going to be a waste of your money because you had to print off the shipping label and that used your PayPal money. Um, I do have the USPS certified uh, scale. This was about $30 at Kmart. I think you can probably get them on eBay for about $20 or you can get cheaper scales for $10. Um, this one does weigh up to 10 pounds because I'm just usually shipping small stuff, nothing really big. But if you're going to be shipping big stuff, you need to go with a floor scale and they'll run you about $100. And they can usually weigh up anywhere from 100 to 150 pounds so um, if you're going to be shipping something big you're going to want to go with that also uh, never ship something until or never print off a shipping label until the people actually pay for your item because then if they never pay then you're out of luck I've had a couple people never pay but luckily I didn't print off the shipping label so you can't really trust people on eBay because sometimes they're not going to pay either because they found something that was the same for cheaper or they just don't have the money right now. Um, that's about it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, then don't do nothing and um, subscribe for more. Thanks.